remember that for your research, the report you're going to write is going to be um, really asking you to have at least three sources, and that's at a minimum. So if you have more than three sources, that's going to be a good thing. Uh, that's going to mean that you have more information to choose from as you write your reports. So in these next few days, we're looking for you to try to get as much research done as you can and to organize that research using the Digo tool so that you can then go back to it online and you can use that online service to help you organize your information so that then you can uh, put your report together a little bit more. So you can see I've used Digo to highlight all these different parts of the article and there's certain colors that you can use that will allow you to um, have special parts of the article for which part you're actually highlighting. And after you've highlighted what you want, you can bookmark it. And you've got a whole Digo toolbar up here that allows you to do whatever you want, basically, like bookmarking, highlighting. Um, you can also you have your own library, which allows you to save all of the stuff that you've highlighted. Why the fact that this representation is a watercraft? It was important because it was made of water. That seems to me more a green thing. Right? So it affected culture by saying it was so important that they made representations of it. So I gotta make it green. Point out to you. We we found out that um, some people are highlighting way too much. They're they're highlighting almost everything in an article. And that means then that everything in that article is important, but does it mean that everything in that article addresses the four questions you're trying to answer? That's another way to look at it. If the information that you're reading doesn't address one of those four sub-questions, then maybe it's not information that you want to be highlighting. My article was about the Murex snail, which was a sea snail that they collected to make dye um, called Tyron Purple. And I underlined, uh, highlighted things in different colors to show what they meant. So yellow was why it was a valuable resource. Um, blue was why it was, um, how it was obtained and gathered. And green was how did it change the earliest known civilization? I've seen real progress for many of you today. So I'm feeling pretty good that today's Tuesday and we're trying to get the research done by the end of Thursday. I think we're moving forward. And so I wanted to give you a chance to see another step we're going to add to this. Alejandro has, uh, has done a few articles and he's also worked a little bit with a screencasting tool called Jing. And so he's going to uh, maybe work through that a little bit with us. And you're all going to end up using Jing, this, this screencasting tool, to explain why you're making the decisions you're making. It's called, it's called, it's called thinking about your thinking. And that's what we're going to ask you to do, except instead of thinking about your thinking, we're going to ask you to talk about what you're thinking and why you're making the decisions you are. So Alejandro is going to walk through an article and hopefully you can call the article back up with the highlights, Alejandro, and okay. you can explain why you have highlighted what you have and you can jing that, you can screencast it so you're walking through it with us together. Jing is cool too because it's the same thing, you're taking a video of the screen but you can actually hear what you're saying and you can see what you're doing and you can actually move the mouse and stuff and don't have to be sitting there just videotaping one thing. You can go from website to website and all over the place.